It is now my pleasure to introduce our student speaker for today, Renal Patel. Renal will receive his Bachelor of Arts degree in Politics and Economics. Welcome, Renal. President Martin, faculty, staff, parents, friends, and members of the class of December 2020, congratulations to all of us. I have to admit that when I was offered the opportunity to deliver this commencement address, I was more excited to have the honor of giving this speech than to actually have to get up here and give this speech. It's not that I'm particularly afraid of public speaking, but rather, what is there to say about a year like 2020? I mean, look around. You're sitting at home, maybe in your pajamas, watching me give this speech on a screen, rather than us being packed in the nap center less than six feet apart, celebrating our accomplishments together. It feels hard to wax poetic about the joys and triumphs of our time at Drake, knowing full well that we've lost a good chunk of that time to social distancing, lockdowns, and Zoom University. But such is 2020. Certainly the fact that we are even here to celebrate our accomplishments as a graduating class is a testament to ourselves and our tenacity. We are so lucky to still be able to finish our degrees. The disparities that this pandemic has revealed have made me deeply grateful for the position that I'm in and acutely aware of how many others haven't had the same privileges. During the course of this pandemic, I have come to fully appreciate and learn in a new way the importance of community. The Drake community, as well as the many communities that each one of us come from, have demonstrated such resiliency this year. These communities that we've cultivated throughout our lives and in our time at Drake, they're the strength that we draw from despite the distance and despite not being able to be together physically. Our graduation, our moment today, is a testament to all the people in our lives, seen and unseen, conscious and subconscious, who have helped us and supported us in our journey to this very moment. One thing I learned here in my final semester as a Drake student, taking classes online and working full time, is that even when we are forced to be apart physically, the community of people who have shaped my time at Drake and made it so special has come together to sustain me through this crisis. Between FaceTime calls, interactions on social media, and the occasional in-person gathering, we have managed to make the best of hard times. And it's because of this community of people around us. Thinking about the importance of community and sustaining connections through distance often reminds me of my parents and their story as immigrants to this country. I've come to realize that I would be nothing without my parents and the risks that they took to come to this country and make a better life for themselves and my sister. My parents were around my age when they came here, and yet I can't begin to fathom moving halfway across the world to a place where I don't speak the language and start over. And yet that was the decision that brought me to this very moment. But they didn't come here in a vacuum. They relied on community and built connections and friendships with people around them. They taught me how to lean on others when you feel most alone. And I needed that lesson now more than ever. All these things that you and I are dealing with, it's not what we wanted, it isn't what we expected, but it's a reminder of all that we have had to overcome to come to this stage. Because this year, we've all learned how fragile our lives are. Not everyone has the privilege of attending school online or working from home. So much of our lives rely on other people working hard and making sacrifices for us. Each one of us has a story like this. Someone, somewhere, prioritized us and our education and helped us to this moment. Whether it was a parent, a relative, a friend, a teacher, or a kind stranger, there are countless people in our lives who have been advocating for us, sacrificing for us, and loving us. There are many of the people, many of these people we've known for years, others we've just met. Some of the most important people in my life didn't appear until I walked onto this campus in August of 2017. For each and every person in my community who helped shape my Drake experience and helped me grow into the person that I am today, I am forever thankful. As we begin to enter the rest of our lives, I wanna close my speech by encouraging each of us to cherish the moments that we've shared, to thank the people and the communities who have helped us along the way, and to celebrate ourselves and our ability to persist 
despite the circumstances. Thank you and congratulations.